four against central leader St. Louis, and anything worse than a split would have the Reds beginning to lose contact with the Cardinals. The lead was eight and a half games before Wednesday's play, the biggest division lead in baseball. For that reason and many others, it's the showcase. Sixth inning, two out. Reds down three zip. Sean Casey against Alan Bennis, and Casey gets hit. Runners are first and second. Very next batter, Aaron Boone gets a hit. Takes it to left. Dante Bichette will score. And the score is 3-1. to one. The very next batter, Benito Santiago. He's facing Venice. Took a while to develop. Home run. Third of the season. Four runs six. All with two out. Cincinnati in the lead. After the inning, Venice tried to pull his head off. Seventh inning, Mark McGuire against Dennis Reyes. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. Out of the seventh, still 4-3 Reds. Second and third, two out. Bichette intentionally walk, loads the bases. See if Tony LaRusso's strategy pays off. Sean Case, the next batter, into the vacancy. Larkin comes to score. Dimitri Young comes to score. Bichette scores, all score. Reds win it 7-3. And they win it like that. Santiago had been in a 5 for 32 slump before the home run, his first homer in nearly a month. The Reds got all their runs with two outs against the Cards bullpen. This was just the sixth win for Cincinnati in the last 21 games. Neither Kenneth nor Mac got a hit in this one. To Mark Grace, he's 17, youngest player in the major. John Elway turned 40 on Wednesday, hit a hole in one in golf. Bottom of third, one nothing Pirates, two out, two on. Kevin Young launches that pitch, and it is like way out. Chula! Off the back of the wall. Damon Buford couldn't get it. Two score. Young stops at second. Three nothing. Fourth inning. Tied at three. One on. John Lieber gets that pitch off of Cordova. Kevin Young diving. Overthrows Cordova. Joe Girardi scores. Cubs get a 4 3 lead on that mess. Which was first two out. Cal Edwards throwing to Ron Coomer. Going to right. Maglio Ordonez. Obviously did not rent the Tom Amansky defensive drills video. Chris Singleman picks it up, wings it in. Jose Valentin, the play. Brooke Fordyce, the sweeping tag to get the out. And he does. Bottom one scoreless game. Frank Thomas, it's not scoreless. 19th of the season. Red Sox go up 3-0. Now it's 4-0. Bottom of three. And Thomas again against Mike Lincoln. All this land is mine for as far as the ball shall travel. His second of the game, 20th of the year. Five zip, seven threes, your final. And Maglio Ordonez tied his career high in this one. Four hits. One of those was a home run we didn't show. Thomas had the two homers. The White Sox have won now for the 12th time in 16 games. Eldred won for the 10th time. He's 8-0 in his last nine starts. Back in 92, he won 10 straight. Jeff Rebele takes advantage right down the line. Ray Sanchez would score. Rebele two for four. He's hitting 315. Two nothing Kansas City. It was five nothing now. Jay Witasik on the mound. Jim Tomei. Ray Sanchez. Nice backhand scoop. The finish. Nailed toes of Tomei. One pitch. One out. Next batter. Richie Sexton. The drive. Jermaine Die. Just laying out there to enjoy the moment and the flexibility and the extension. Two pitches, two outs. What about Cleveland being patient? I thought the Indians, weren't they patient at the plate? Opposite way, Sandy Allen, R. Jr., the flow to Reveille. Sandy to make the catch. Three pitches, three outs. Jermaine died. He made the great catch, and now at the plate, that's home run number 20. Two for three, he's hitting 322. Royals go on to win eight to one. The Royals have just two complete games this year, and you know what? Both have been pitched by Jay Wittasek. Two DL. Bottom one, no score, two on. Tony Clark, that's down the line. Off of Ben Ford, the starter. Rich Becker and Bobby Higginson, they come and score. Tigers out, two nothing. Now bottom of the third, Tigers are extending it, five to one. And Clark going to right field and over some fencing. His 12th, 6-1, the Tigers in front. Still bottom of third, two on. One, Encarnacion. Against Alan Watson. Home run. Three run home run. Seventh of the year. 9 1 Detroit. Now it's 13 to 4. Ricky Day off of Steve Sparks. Incarnacion. Bueno. Take another look. You see how Venezuelan women, 18 to 26 field, and they like it. Tigers win 13 to 6. Tigers have scored 13 runs five times this month, each time they won the game. That's not a given this year.
All that big run scoring has come against the Jays, Indians, or Yankees. A will bat off Bobby Jones. Big plate of meat is served up. Lowell has his 12th homer, though not in this game. That would be a record. The score is three to one. Bottom of six, two out, 4-1 Marlins. Brad Penny walks Melvin Moore. The bases were loaded. Benny Agbayani scores. Mets are down 4-2. Ricky Bonus now in for Florida. 3-2. Check swing. Derek Bell gets the walk. Run scores. 4-3. Let's watch again. We do believe he may have taken a swing at that. But Mets get the break. Next batter, Mike Piazza, goes to short. Andy Fox, newbie. Couldn't handle it. Everybody's safe. The game is tied at four. Next batter, Mark Johnson. Left field, Melvin Moore and Derek Bell score six for Mets. The Mets come back, win it six to five. A winner for the seventh straight time. Five run rally in the six held Bobby J. Jones. They're even his record at three and three. He was in his second start since going down to the minors. Gave up four runs, seven hits in the six innings. The second, two out, Walt Weiss up. Way back against Dustin Hermanson. That must have hurt, except he caught it, so he's okay. Third inning, Andrew Jones up. Kilvio Veras over at third. Jones. Michael Barrett does not handle it. Veras scores. Atlanta leads 1 0. Fifth inning, Chipper Jones up. Andrew Jones out at second. Chipper pops it up. Doesn't look like much. But it drops in, and it's a double even. Chipper goes three for four. Three runs scored. Andrew Jones scores there to make it. A 4-1 game. Top of the seventh, Andrew Jones at the plate. Atlanta's up 5-2. He liked it. Felipe Lira serving that up. 21st for Jones. Atlanta wins it by a count of 7-4. Terry Mulholland, the winner in this game. 8-6 after this. He's 17-4 all-time against Montreal. This Here we go. Bubba Trammell. Look at him. What's he going to do? Two out, one on, Esteban Yan against Carlos Delgado, who extended his hit streak to 21 games, but didn't do it there. Good play, but Trammell did not steal home twice. Bottom of second, one nothing Blue Jays. David Wells throwing. A lot of strikes, 0-2 for Bobby Smith. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. Now top of four, 2-1 Blue Jays. Two on, nobody out. Yan in some trouble. Jose Cruz Jr. Homered his first trip. Ripped that his next trip down the line and toward the corner. Fulmer comes to score, and Jan is not happy with himself. 3-1 to one is the score. The Blue Jays in front. Now 5-2 Jays. Wells allowed an unearned run on a wild pitch. Allows nothing there. Trammell's going away. Curve working. Next batter, Fred McGriff. It's endorsed by Fred McGriff, but he's going away too. Ninth inning, still 5-2 Jays. Wells trying to get the complete game, and he does. Flaherty looking. David Wells leads the majors with 13 wins. This was the sixth straight win and fourth complete game of the season. Through 108 pitches, 85 of them were strikes. His brother on the mound, that is not him. B.J. Surhoff, obviously not distracted by all the trade rumors. Surhoff was five for six in this game. Delino DeShields comes in to score on that. We're tied at five. Surhoff's hitting streak now at 21 games. Top of the ninth, Orioles down though. Seven to six, one out, runner on second, Will Clark. Good placement off of Derek Lowe. Pass to diving Darren Lewis. Surhoff would score. Clark moves to third. We're now tied at seven. Runners on the corners. We're in the 11th. One out. Harold Baines up against Bryce Flory. That is deep. But it's off the green monster. Surhoff would score. Orioles go up 8-7. to seven. Baines at second. Bottom 11, no more. Garcia Parra on second. Two outs. Buddy Groom getting Israel Alcantara to fly out to Brady Anderson in center. And the Orioles win. Derek Lowe blows a second straight save. Boston, so injury depleted, they had to use two pitchers as pinch hitters. Boston has dropped 9 of 11. Red Sox now in AL were 6-16 and 16 in one-run games. One more note. Cal Ripken placed on the 15-day DL because of an inflamed lower back. Jamie Moyer thrown for Seattle, one nothing the Angels, and Troy Gloss makes it two nothing. Mo Vaughn comes in and scores. Still two nothing Angels. Ken Hill thrown to Edgar Martinez. Hump run. Broken 0 for 15 slump. There's 22nd homer of the season. Mariners down two to one. So are the Mariners. Bases loaded. Two one Anaheim. Moyer in some trouble, but. Gloss choking on a splinter, still 2-1. Now we're in the seventh. Brett Tomko in relief. Benji Gill down the line. Darren Erstad scores to make it 3-1. The Angels win it by a count of 3-2. Mariners' seven-game win streak all done with Benji Gill, three for five, tied his career high for hits. Ken Hill making his first start since coming off the DL. 
Allowed one run over six innings. That's his fourth win. And that matches his win total from last season. The A's and the Rangers. The Rangers winner here by a count of five to three. Rafi Palmero and Yvonne Rodriguez each went two fourth inning. That's a shot from above. In the fourth, one on, one out. Eric Karras against Adam Eaton. And he took Eaton way out. Karras has 23. Dodgers take a 4-2 lead. Same inning. Dodgers up 4-2. Chad Kruder. Eaton couldn't field it. But Brett Boone gets into it for the 1-4-3 double play. Dodgers lead 4-2. Still Jim Leyritz off of Kevin Walker. We're calling that a ground rule double. We've made the ruling. And the Dodgers win it by a count of 5-4. Chan Ho Park thrown. Goes seven innings. Gives up six hits. Four in runs. But he batting already with a homer make it two homers Jeff Cirillo is second home run of the game seventh of the year 11 6 Giants now four batters later in the shadow of Cirillo's big night Nephi Perez up with two men on Perez good placement good camera work three for five four RBIs he's hitting 271 the Rockies cut it to 11 to eight bottom six now same score Still 11-8, bases loaded, one out, and I feel a Brent Main moment. Ripping the Aaron Fultz pitch, two runs would score easily. A third comes in on a just a bad throw by Ellis Burks. Main two for five, two RBI. He's hitting 305. We're tied at 11. Bottom seven tied at 12 now. Jeff Sorello looking for the trifecta. Got it. Did I really say that? I did. Can I take that back? <laughs> no. Third of the game, the first plate are homer three times in a game since Saturday. Jeff Kent already with a homer in the game. Looking for more. Tom Goodwin 0 for 5 of the plate, but was styling on defense. Tom Goodwin. Take another look. Goodwin says, you're not going there, are you? He gets a face full of fence. He gets shattered a bit, but he'd be fine, and the Rockies would win 17 to 13 the final. Cirillo finished four for five with those three homers, five runs scored, six RBI, becoming the seventh player this season and the third player in five days to hit three homers. And second, Brian Anderson. Moises Alou. Alou. Slicing opposite way. Travis Lee says, don't even think about it. What a great catch inning over. Take another look, just in case you stepped out to answer your cell. Travis Lee saving at least one run. He just saved two runs. Well, two runs. Who are you going to believe, me or him? Brian Anderson facing Tony Eusebio. Strikes him out on the changer. Two outs. Bottom four, Jose Lima, Steve Finley. Finley simply not scared of heights. His first homer, though, since June 4th. Diamondbacks up 1-0. Bottom six now, Jose Lima facing Alex Cabrera. So dangerous, so threatening, but this is just a sack fly. And that would be good enough to score Steve Finley. And Diamondbacks were up 3 0. And then it was just a disastrous ending for Jose Lima emotionally, mentally, frustrated. You bet. D backs win 6 2. Lima becomes the first pitcher to lose 12 straight decisions since the Mets' Anthony Young in 1993. The losing streak sets the club record. B. Young Yoon Kim gets the final two outs for his 12 save and 14 tries. He has retired 12 straight batters.